Hello and welcome to my e-lesson. I'm your guru and in this video I'm going to tell you how to make 10 most used charts in Excel. Yes, in one video you will learn how to make 10 most used charts in Excel. So we'll start with the column chart, bar chart, line chart, pie chart, donut chart, combo chart. This is where it starts getting interesting. Combo chart, tree map chart, Pareto chart and in the end, I'll tell you how to make sparkline chart and sparkline column chart also. So making charts and graphs in Excel is very, very easy. You just need to know what kind of data you have and what you want to show. So let's start making our charts from here. And this is the data I have. So to insert a chart, you select your data and go to home sorry go to insert and from here choose column chart there are multiple type of column chart this is since this is a simple video i've taught the regular common common charts if you want to know more about these charts you can go to my website myelison.org and there are comprehensive videos on these charts and we were able to create a column chart you can edit it by changing its name column chart see like this. This section opens fill, no fill. I'll be explaining this later with other topics. And now let's create a, which is the second chart we have, is a bar chart. All right. Now, when to create what kind of chart? I have written a complete article on this. You can go ahead and read it in the description below this video. All right. And do also like and comment. Do also like this video. If you like the what I have written and made and also comment upon the content of this video. So now I'm trying to make a bar chart. I'll select my data, go to insert, go over this area and choose bar chart. And here is my bar chart. In a bar chart, I will tell you another trick. Like you click on the chart anywhere in the chart and these two sections open design. You can use design section to change the design of your chart like this. In every chart, I'll tell, tell you one option. All right. So we have created two charts. Now let me create a line chart. So this is my data. I go to insert and I go to line chart over here and I choose a line chart. And here is my line chart. I'm going to just reduce this a little bit this is my line chart and in this video uh, in this chart i'll tell you how you can change the colors from here all right you can you can go ahead and work with the legends from here where do you want to show the legends i want to show the legends on say bottom more options say i say on top okay and i want to show data labels and data labels these are my data labels and i want to show them above now i'll go to the regular size and these as my data label so i was able to insert data label now what next chart do we have online is a pie chart all right pie chart here is a pie chart for us select the data go to insert go to pie and here is your pie chart. See? Well, I can go on and keep on piling them over here. So this is your pie chart. Now in pie chart, I'll, I'll tell you a trick. Go to format. And from here, you can go ahead and choose various colors to fill the shapes. Whatever you have selected, you can format your chart from here. See? What colors do you want in here? You can choose them from here. You can choose a specific color for a section or for the complete stuff. If I is just one section I want, this is one section I want, I'm bothered about, then only in this section will I change the color. Say, let me make it blue. In this section, I want it to be red. 
In this section, I'm making a Google. Huh? A Google logo is green, yellow, red, and blue. So in this section, I will insert green. And here is our Google. <laughs> See? Well, let me pull it down. And we should never pull somebody down. It's just the chart that we are trying to pull down. Okay? And which is the next chart we have online? And this is a donor chart made in a very similar manner as a pie chart. Select the data. Go to insert. Go to donor chart from here and your donor chart is ready. In this one, I'll tell you how to copy paste a chart. So you select a chart. Click on copy. Go to a new sheet. Click right click and click on paste. Your new chart is ready. It is linked to the same data. That's another way. All right. And now I believe we are moving on to interesting things. Combo charts. Combo charts are great if you have to show two, three kinds of information. Like I want to show the sales like we are showing over here along with the target. All right. So how will I do that? I'll select this complete data now. Go to insert and go to combo charts over here. All right. This is a combo chart. You can learn more about it in detail on my website, myelesson.org. So this is a combo chart. So this is the 3000 target line that you see over here. And now you can see this one is this far away from here. This one has exceeded it. This is just there, almost there. And in combo chart, I'll tell you that you can have these lines etc removed see you click on those lines and they get removed you click over here and they get removed just have your basic data looking clean extremely clean all right this was a combo chart for you and let's create a tree map chart a beautiful chart which which shows the content of your data in form of square and rectangular blocks, something similar to what a donor chart does in a round way. So this is my data. I select it. I go to insert. I go to recommended chart. Sorry, I go to. This is my tree chart. And here is the data. I will go ahead. And place it. Now, if you try to reduce the size. It will retain this its symmetry. If I change the data over here, say, if I make it say 8,000, 800, see, this changed. It's a beautiful chart, beautiful chart to work with. Also, if I go ahead and change the, remove this layout from here, then again, it will try to occupy most space in the section and organize itself accordingly. That's the beauty of this chart. And then comes the Pareto chart. Extremely difficult to make in the earlier versions of Excel, but very easy to make in this version of Excel now. So let's select our range, sales data, go to insert, and from here, you can choose a Pareto chart. Here is your Pareto chart in the histogram. So it tells you which sections are corresponding with 100%, 80%, 90% of your data. For people who want to know more about Pareto charts, please visit my website, myelesson.org, and you'll understand what exactly a Pareto chart can do for you in a presentation and how extremely pleased your boss will be. And now coming to our last charts, which are sparkline charts and spark column charts. Beautiful charts to have. So I want to create a sparkline chart. So for that, you have to ensure that your data is not more than one row. It has to be a row, not a column. It can be as long as possible. The row can have be as long as possible, but it has to be a row. And only one thing can be shown over there, like sales. So I've selected this data, go to insert, go to sparkline, it will ask you choose your location. So I, I, I will hover over here and say I want my chart to be located over here. It comes over here. Click OK. 
and my chart is ready. See, this graph is now, chart is located in one single cell. These are hovering over a range of cells. Sparkline chart is located within a cell. See, if I click on a chart, it says chart 5. But if I click on a sparkline chart, it says cell number B31. I will explain more about sparkline charts in my video on sparkline charts on mylesson.org. In a similar manner, we can insert a sparkline column chart also. So we go to our data. Go to insert and go to spark column chart. Select where you want to have your chart. I want it here. Click OK and your spark column chart is ready. Isn't it amazing? Now there's a one last trick. See what I'll do. This is my data. I'll select it. Do nothing. Just press F11. Uh, chart is ready automatically in full screen size. F11. You need to press F11. All right. That's, that's the key. The top key. Function key. And from here, you click over here and change the design. Change the layout from here. You want to change the colors, you can change them from here. You want to change the layout, you can have the numbers on the top. Anything you want to change the chart type, you can do that from here. Make it a line chart, make it a pie chart, area chart, whatever you want. Cool, right? So till the next video, this is your Guru now signing off for the day. Have a wonderful day ahead. Happy learning.